Hi there, gorgeous, magical creator. I'm Christine Collins. I'm your NLP creativity consultant and hypnotherapist. And here for you today with a couple of very quick tips regarding your inspiration and taking that inspiration and moving it into intuitive action or inspired action. Um, so one of the things that I think is really important to keep in mind as you continue to unfold your inspiration out there into reality is that it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to allow it to evolve and to transform. So just because you woke up, you know, Sunday morning with that big brilliant idea and you wrote it down for it to happen this way, and then two days later, you perhaps got a new tick of inspiration and you went, oh, you know what, actually that idea, I, I wanna do it this way now instead. It's okay to change it. Don't feel like you're dishonoring that original intuition by shifting it because it's a, it's a constantly evolving and unfolding thing. Your creation is going to evolve probably a lot over the span of months or years as you continue to create and recreate what you've already done and that's part of the evolution of that creation it's not just a static thing where you get the idea and then you make it happen sometimes it happens that quickly but a lot of times it's an evolution so allow it to evolve and don't be afraid to change your mind about what you're creating how you're doing it who you're doing it with, it's okay to allow that to evolve. And then the other piece is um, around being ethical with our creation, because I think that um, we often are in a space where we're creating alongside other people who are in similar vibrations, they're in similar kind of waves as we are, and sometimes we're tuning into the same types of creative flow, and there's also sort of this um, mass consciousness that we sometimes are tuning into, we're being exposed to media, and we may be reading the same books and watching the same shows and getting some of the same gist of certain things. And that's all okay. There's really actually no way around that. There's going to be times when, and this has happened to me, where you write a blog or you do a video or you do some journaling around a particular topic and then you get on social media the next day and there's someone else talking about that very thing that you just got inspired about that is going to happen let it go you're you and nobody else can be you so it's happened to me several times and sometimes i read something and i'm like huh i swear i just said those exact words or wrote those exact words let it go it doesn't matter what does matter is that for yourself on your end that you are practicing being ethical now you're going to all the time unintentionally say similar things write similar things do similar things to other people who are creating alongside you and again let that go that's okay um it's okay to be similar there's there's like i said really no way around that just make sure that you're being conscious and mindful to the best of your ability as to where your ideas are coming from and where your inspiration is coming from and ensuring that you're not deliberately reading something or watching something and then trying to do the same exact thing or similar. Um, you know, as I said, we're all inspired by many of the same types of tools and media and overlap is natural. Overlap is inevitable in this space where we're all creating, but just do your best on your own, in your own way to ensure that you're not doing anything like that in a deliberate way. So I hope you found this to be helpful and inspiring. Once again, I'm Christine Collins with Transform Create, and I hope that the rest of your day is magical and creative.